Hey guys, this is Cody from NetworkSecurityKey.org. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how to um, access your router control panel with the default settings. Um, if you have set this up on your own and simply forgot the uh, username and password, this isn't going to work. But luckily for most people that are in this situation, um, they haven't set it up personally themselves. So what you're going to want to do first and foremost is you're going to want to figure out exactly what model you are using, uh, your router model and brand. And uh, you can find this typically on the physical device itself. And once you have that information, you're going to want to go to a website called routerpasswords.com. And through here you can look up um, almost every single router that's on the market or has been on the market. And so let's say we have a Netgear, which I actually do. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to look for our model number. Um, I believe this one is mine. And so from here you can see that the default password is admin, or the default user is admin, and the default password is password. That is simple enough. And so at this point, we're going to, depending on our router, we're going to either want to go to 192.168 dot zero dot one or in some cases this is uh, 192.168.1.1 but in my situation it's a dot zero dot one and so once you enter this you're going to come up uh, it's typically going to bring up a prompt and uh, I guess I was already logged in so um, typically it's a it says user and pass, and you're just going to want to enter those default, uh, the default user and pass. In my case, it was admin and password, and you'll pop up on this uh, page <coughs> or uh, a similar page, depending on your specific router model and brand. However, so from here, it's similar for most devices, but you're going to want to go to wireless settings or um, anything else that you really want to do. And from here, you can see the WEP passphrase if you have WEP encryption or say you have a WPA you can uh, look it up the same way but um, yeah from here you can find your network security key uh, fairly simply and you can change it yourself if you'd like and that's about it guys <laughs>